Let me repeat that. This is 3 a.m. and I'm behind you right now. Maybe you can see me. Now try to touch me. I didn't mean it in that way. Try waving your hand into the air. You can see me or touch me. But what do you know about the astral world? What are things that walk around in your room every day that you can see? Not in the same room with you, but also is in the same room with you at the same time. What proof that you have that I am behind you right now? What proof that you have that I am not behind you right now? Can you trust your eyes? Can you trust your ears and other senses? What proof do you have that you can catch everything with your senses? You can see x-rays or gravitational field. Birds see colors that humans cannot see. You can feel the touch of radioactivity. You can hear radio waves. You can catch quite a lot of things around you. You don't know everything that sits behind you at the moment. Do you even know where your behind is? Or uh, let's take it this way. Normally, your behind is where your back is facing, right? Sometimes you can look behind if you break your neck. But that's gonna take away the main idea here. You're gonna check your behind to make sure there's nothing there. However, what if when you look back, that something that was at your back, you can check its existence. Because it's not at your back in the first place. Rather, you're behind. Let's assume that your behind is the opposite of wherever your eyes are looking at. If you look left, then your right becomes your behind, vice versa. Therefore, you can never check it with your eyes. You can make sure if it's still there or not. Maybe if you walk back without looking, you might bump into it. Impress me. I mean that this way, I can say that you can never know what's behind you. I can also say, in another way, it's still valid to say that everything that you can see are considered at behind you. Not just me, but everyone. Everyone, got your back. We got you, buddy. You can do it.